Hello everybody, my name is Rezex and welcome to Sands of Solzar. I thought we'd give this game a shot. It's kind of like a... I'll say kind of like Battle in a way, where you start off as a character in the exotic deserts of Salzar, and you try and get yourself an army, maybe you do some quests, and maybe like make your own faction and stuff, we have to see where it goes. So I haven't really played this game much at all, I played it I think when it came out in early access, and I kind of waited until it was more finished, and it's actually released now. Can I say, when it was early access, it actually wasn't even English, I think it was in Chinese or something, so I couldn't even read what I was doing. <laughs> I still tried out regardless though. So we're going to start a new game, apparently they've had like a sandbox mode, but I don't really know what the difference would be in this one so i think we're just going to stick to story mode and i'll probably play in hard mode because um why not right <laughs> i think i'll probably want to avoid expert mode and epic if i haven't really played the game in like a year It'd probably be a complete disaster so we'll try hard mode so you can actually kind of pick like a variety of Ooh, was there like a cutscene at the start Ooh. ah it's poseidon's temple i don't actually know if that is but that's, i don't know <laughs> it could be anything They're going to be like, uh, oh, here we go. They have returned. There was a war 20 years ago. That war took my father, my mother, my homeland, everything. The black sun rose in the sky. It was even an eclipse. It was awful. <laughs> You've protected mankind for a thousand years. Who am I to judge? But it all started with you. Now, I will be the one to finish it. Cool. Well, that's a little, guess a little bit of an intro for the game. She kind of looked like a person in the statue, I think. Okay, so we can pick our class. Now, like I said, I have no idea what to do here. Uh, let's just look around what we can do. Spirit Mancer. Wait, how do I know? Oh, sorry, I thought this was like another character. I was thinking someone else. So Spirit Master. Uh, we won't read it out, of course. It'll probably take a little bit of time there. It looks like he's got some unique abilities. So one thing I do remember from this game is it's like those are unique skill trees based on what kind of character you are. Um, so I think this guy probably is, well, clearly Spirit's kind of magic kind of man. Spirit Witch, I guess, is a female version. Um, I think she'd be kind of same. Oh, maybe not. Look at the top here. Difficulty. One star, three star. Spirit Witch. Excel at modern Spirit Master techniques. I don't know what any of this means about us, I think. <laughs> uh, but I don't normally play Wizards anyway, so you have no followers and you kind of... Okay, interesting. Uh, oh, there's more than I think. Oh, there's loads of classes. Interesting. Okay, so I'm probably going to go for a guy that's more of a combat guy, because... Um, yeah, that's what I like doing, everybody. <laughs> I like killing people with swords, what can I say? I guess Jackal, just from the name, is probably going to be some kind of, like, um, stealthy shadow. Yeah, not my kind of thing. I want to be out in the open with a giant sword. Shaman, uh, Beastmaster, shapeshifting the powerful beasts. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're still in the other ones. You can summon Dracar... This guy's basically a dragon knight, I guess, from the uh, thing here. You would become a dragon. Uh, da 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 Ooh, you're going to talk to wolves and stuff. That could be very interesting to do that one. Let's we'll see, let's we'll see. Knight Errant, you are a skilled swordsman whose quest to rob the rich in aid of poor has built a legend among the desert folk. Interesting. Master of Sword, this might be who we play, by the way. I just like swords. <laughs> Warrant out for your arrest with all tribes. Ah. That sounds even more uh, good to me. <laughs> the Berserker, which weirdly has... It's easy because he's not wanted by the entire universe. Okay, that guy's more of a heavy hammer man. Sentinel. Interesting. Oh, she's kind of like... Understanding of Arcana. So I guess she's kind of like... She's got magic as well. And she starts with some crossbowmen. Interesting. Principles of command. Maybe she's like a mass army kind of person. Interesting. Or oh, the Sultan. If there's going to be a person with mass army, it'll probably be the Sultan, I imagine. Because he's literally called the Sultan. <laughs> This guy is probably like a take up your family's mantle and lead your tribe. This guy probably sounds like a guy that starts off with like a big army and stuff. Interesting. Yeah, he's kind of like a, a general looking at the description here. Like you can deploy towers and stuff. Um, he can learn level three arcana, whatever that means. I guess it's like a high level spell. 
Begin with a small town and construct. Oh, how cool is that? We can do that anywhere, I think, but this guy actually starts as a soul. That's really cool. I think out of everybody, though, I've read, uh, well, kind of read, we're going to be playing as the Knight Errant. <laughs> it sounds like the most me one ever. You start against the world, the literal world. Everybody absolutely hates you. Uh, so I think we'll go for this guy. Um, definitely. Plot quests. Oh, they got like unique quests. Interesting. That's not going to change my opinion, though. We're going to play as the Knight Errant. So, confirm? Yes. Okay, we'll cast my power, sir. I, oh, this is my character in game, I guess. I kind of like this guy. I, I like the original one. What, what other ones can we check? So far, it just is the original guy because he has a cape. Well, it's not even a cape. It's just some kind of long clothing. Oh, this guy is a joy. <laughs> would you mess with this man? No, you probably would not. Oh, this is pretty cool. Like the wolf guys. I'm trying to get back to work at the start, by the way. I think I made a mistake. I didn't realize how many ah, there you go. <laughs> how many character models there were. Custom votes. Customizing your avatar will change its appearance. I would never have thought that would be possible, everybody. I thought it would remain the same forever. Okay. Um, oh, no, no. Oh, that's what it meant. Okay, well, I looked awesome before. Now I don't look as, as cool. Let's quickly just pick some stuff. I would love it if I could have... I kind of like the white hair. Interesting. Ooh. I can't remember. Wait, can we make like Zhao Yun or something from Dynasty Warriors? Yes, we can. <laughs> I'm doing it. It's happening. I don't really spend much time in character creators. We just quickly click through some buttons here and hope it turns out okay. Um, gigantic eyebrows. Oh, this guy looks permanently angry. Maybe that's like, like more of a calm looking guy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I love how, like, expression, uh, you can't much expression you can get from eyebrows. I, I, I'm suppressed. Okay, that's, I like that one. We have some kind eyes. I know, I like those ones. They're kind of piercing. They're piercing. Beautiful. This is going to be a very random character, but I'm just looking through random buttons here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he is the most angry man. No, we're not going to pick that one. That one looks stupid. Um, wait, how are you smiling without... He's got like a gum... He's got like a toothless smile. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go over that one. And a beard. Everyone needs a good beard, you know. Everyone needs a good beard. Um... I feel like I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I feel like I look pretty good. Body. Oh, look at all these options. There you go. We are playing as, um, oh, no, I like that one even more. Yeah, I'll take it. I like how, by the way, this looks absolutely nothing like this character. <laughs> Is there a way, wait, 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 let's quickly put it again. There's no one that was more like him I saw earlier. Maybe this guy? Yeah, I think we'll go for this guy. It looks a little bit more like what my character looks like in the game. So yeah, we'll go with this, we'll go with this. Trinkets, what does this do? Oh, I can get like a, ooh. It kind of ruins the effort I put into my face. So I think we'll just leave it alone. What? <laughs> I have a tattoo over my beard. It's totally fun. Hmm. I'm pretty, I'm feeling it's like some of these options are not entirely serious. Uh, we'll go with nothing. Okay, cool, confirm. I am Frut X. Cool. Okay, skills. Uh oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so this so we got a, a bunch of starting skills here. Scatter shockwave, jump to target, swift sword, move quickly to a target area and slash three times. Interesting. Unleash your wave of sword energy, slicer. Hmm. Interesting. So what I'm going to go with, just looking at these really quickly, I think we're probably going to go with... This one so moves to a target and it quickly attacks. If someone's trying to run away, we can just go whoop and just what, knock them out. So we'll take that one. We got, looks like we got some starting points for the game. So if I recall, the more you play the game, the more stuff you can unlock. So like if you play the game all the way through, you can then start off like a giant squad or something if you want to next time. Oh, it's that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I think we'll take this for now. We'll take this for now. Items. 
I don't want to... Uh, we're going to start with no items. I just want to start with just like bare minimum. So I think we do that. Squad? Oh, we can choose a... Oh. Is this like a second... It's like a companion, I think, like in Bandalore, where you can poo like a, a super person. I... I tell you what. We're going to start with nothing. I actually am going to start with nothing. We're just going to go in with just like... <laughs> whatever, it's fine. So I can do settings as well. Give me like some more buffs and stuff. More favor with different factions. A nameless blade. Interesting. Okay, well, what we do then? We'll just start with this. <laughs> I want some kind of skill. Oh! Oh! Oh, everybody, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There was a scroll bar. <laughs> How did I miss a giant scroll bar? I didn't even add in that charge. Read. Oh, there's so many skills. Look at all this. Okay, so this gonna. Okay, let's, let's get more skills then. Knights Errant. That's what I'm already playing as, right? Yeah, so I think I've already got that skill. Oh, so you can also, like, get skill levels, uh, skill trees from other factions. <gasps> Summon a wolf. Yes. Okay, so we'll go with healing. Wolf. What else have we got? Tempest, Solution Cloak, Season Warrior. Mm, not that good. Recess Man Regen. This is pretty cool. I like all these options you can do here. Summon a Fire Elemental. Combat Recovery. Okay, no, no, wait. So we go back. We get rid of this. Get Combat Healing, which so we can heal ourselves on combat. Because we're going to be our by ourselves, right? So if we're going to be by ourselves at the start, we want to try and get ourselves like a good all rounder thing. So, also, wasn't there a skill to improve this? So we got mana regen, healing, summoning, and we got a combat skill. I think that's a pretty good start if you ask me. Though, looking at it, what we might want to do instead, actually, because... Uh, is it like a whirlwind attack? Jump or incursion, raid... But this probably isn't the all skills we can get in the game. Probably gotta get more. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Confirmed. Done. Sorry, as long as I spent 12 minutes doing this. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's a, that's how I play games. That's how we start off. So what I'll do, I'll probably put like a little chapter thing so you can skip if you want to start watching the gameplay now. So, a skilled swordsman, your chivalrous stories resound through throughout the furthest reaches of the desert. The tribes are united in fearing completely and will treat you with hostility on sight. That's how I like it, everybody. That's how I like it. Okay. You find yourself in a merchant's camp nestled in a valley. The desert lies beyond. Cool. Okay. Thank you, game. This is the controls. So it's kind of like a top-down game, but you can, like I said, you have like commands and like squads and stuff. So it's kind of like battle in a way, but it's more like a top-down kind of thing. Uh, skill tree. Ooh. We'll look at this a bit later. Okay, so this is kind of like the start to the game itself. Uh, questions. Who are you? Okay. I don't know if in games in general, do people want me to read out the text or do I just read it in my head? Let me know in the comments. I'm not sure people actually would like me to do, to be honest. I have no idea. I like how I'm a man of few words. I just do passive aggressive dots in all my... <laughs> hmm, I see. Okay, this guy's like a tutorial guy, so I don't actually want to talk to him. I thought he was a merchant. Uh, let's see. So do I have a weapon and stuff at the moment? Ah, intel. Tribes. Everybody hates you. Good start. Good start. Okay. Uh, inventory. I have a sword, fine iron sword, and worn leather armor. Interesting. What's this? Healing orbs, mana orbs, return scroll. Cool. Interesting. Ooh. I'll help you, friend. You hear faint calls for help on the wind. They grow clear as the wind becomes stronger. After a moment, you see a figure uh, behind the voice. A middle-aged man appears dressed in ragged clothing and carrying an old staff. He is gripping a masked woman's hand tightly and is running for his life. Chasing him is a humanoid monster and scorned with flame. Help! Save me! Let's do this. Oh, okay, we're in combat. Oh, what do I do? Okay, I should have skills as well, by the way. I picked loads of skills, it's not available. So right for right now, because I've got no skills, you just you just attack with a normal attack and it kills the guy eventually. I do know for a fact though, once you get like some cool skills, it looks pretty cool. Um Where are my skills at then? Maybe he has to learn them to actually get them in the game. I'm not sure. Wait, it means we'll read this guy first. Thank you. May I ask your name of my savior? 
Fretex. <laughs> Clearly a very um what's it called? It's a it's a name that resonates with this area completely. It's a completely regular name. My name is Malak. I'm a scholar. He points to a mass woman <laughs> directly just into her face. She is Isra. Isra? Whatever. An all for my picked up in Twin Lula. Oh, I'm going to struggle with these names, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Valley. She was interested in my studies. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So I took her with me. Good talk. Good talk. Wait, is that the girl from the trailer? Uh, the cutscene at the start? Maybe. Still, I just, I'm going to say every time I just go, hmm. That's going to be my dot face. Okay, passive aggressive. Uh, as long as you, I don't really care about this guy's story. <laughs> as long as you are not hurt, sir. It's fine, it's fine. Hmm. What were those monsters? There was only one, by the way, so I'm not sure what I'm talking about there. If you're lucky, you'll never encounter one. Uh, Ifrits are a violence by nature. They especially like to attack humans. Human mages in particular. Hmm. Are you a human mage by chance? This is like a tooltip thing. Why is it red randomly? I don't know. Maybe it's people like me don't want to read all the time. You just read it the red bits and move on with your life. <laughs> this kind of weak Ifrit isn't... Uh, Ifrit? It does look like it's Ifrit. It isn't even self-aware, but it said uh, but it said more powerful Ifrits are smarter than a human. Though I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you. Please accept this token of our gratitude. Is it money? Because I need money. What should do I? I don't even know. Uh, you really are a kind person. The area ahead is dangerous. I suggest you proceed with caution. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of text. Malak and Isra, uh, Isra express their gratitude and continue upon their journey. You discover uh, that if it uh, deteriorate very quickly, like burned charcoal, they fall apart. Oh, so like after you kill them, they kind of just disintegrate. So we can use them to fuel our campfires. It's perfect. It's like a fuel source. The Battle of the Black Sun has made this world unrecognizable. So it looks like some kind of disaster happened just like absolutely destroyed the world. Yet war rages on. The appearance of such monsters are unlikely to alter mankind's dreams of conquest. You brave uh, brace your head against the wind and press forward. Okay, so I think that's like the kind of the intro over. And now we go into the actual game itself. Uh, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the valley, you see a caravan prone to head out into the desert. They are willing to take you with them and give you a trade permit. Cool. Uh, where do we want to go? Oh. I don't know what any of these places are. <laughs> Wait, think it over. Is there a map somewhere? Ah, thank you. So there is a map. Oh, okay, cool. So this is the main map. So there's loads of different areas and stuff. Uh, Umbra Cliff, I guess it's like a highland area. Or mountainous area. Redstone Valley, I guess like a canyon. Crying Rock, I guess it's kind of like a... Just like a general, generalized desert area. Proper Mountains. Twinulu Valley. Looks like it might be more temperate zone. With a river and stuff there. And a proper desert over here as well. Where do you want to go for everybody? We just go, it says Redstone Desert, right? So let's go to Redstone Desert. I'm not sure what these places are. <laughs> so I'll go to Redstone Desert. I presume that's the first one. Redstone Valley. Because there might be that the enemy's too strong. So if we go for this one, it'd be a lot easier. Okay, so we're in the main game now. So I think we can just run around, kind of like Bandlord at the start, and just look at stuff. Whelan. I think this is a general NPC, so I'm not going to read out what he's saying. But, um... Looks like he has a lot of weapons. Oh, no, what was it saying? People are blah, 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 blah. filled with too many weapons broken in the repair, they say. Okay. Oh, he can give me more inventory space. Can I do that right now? 500 pounds? I don't know how much money I even have. Oh, I can unlock all those inventory. How much money do I have? What the hell? <laughs> Where do I see my money? Also, here, sorry. Uh, no, I haven't got uh, that much money. I guess we can expand your inventory 60 times. Oh, my God, loads. I don't really worry about that. What's this? Talent shard. Mana orb. Cool. Oh, that's, that's exit to the area. Let's go this down this way then. Okay, so we want to go south by looks it. There's some villages nearby, but we've got to remember, everybody hates us. So we can't really go into villages without being just absolutely murdered. So we've got to be careful with that one. <laughs> Maybe this was not the best thing for me to do if I just started out of the game. So it's like you can buy new mounts. You can buy a horse or a camel. But I think I've already got a horse equipped. Well, I'm using a horse right now. I presume I do have one. Uh, inventory, horse, brown horse. Okay, I've already got a horse. It's fine. Hello there. I love your hair, friend. <laughs> that hair seems like it's very uh, lustrous. 
Uh, ooh. I've learned that a trainer was selling war animals. Is that here? Bad lad. Oh, he sells animals. I don't This may be a bad idea. But I'm going to do it right away. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we got, we got a friend. We have a friend. So if you look here, I, got, I can currently have six squads and three heroes. So um, this is a wolf here. He, for some reason, hasn't got any eyes. That's not important. So you see he's got like, different stats and stuff. And what's thing I think pretty cool is you can promote them to come better. Like this one can level up to a bad land wolf and he gets like more stats and skills and stuff. Uh, also, I think as well... Oh, it's hard to tell. There's normally a lot of choices with humans and stuff. They can turn to like different people. Kind of like Battle, where you have like, like concerns like an archer, like uh, loads of stuff. Bandit party. It's kind of like a dungeon, I guess. You can go inside, but recommended level three. Maybe we'll avoid that for now. Oh, before we do anything, what's going on with my traits? Because I unlocked loads of traits at the start. Ooh. Oh, am I under attack? Oh, no. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I think we're in trouble. I was going to try... What I was literally about to do is try and equip myself some... Oh, we don't... I don't know. Oh, no. I was trying to get equip myself some skills so I didn't have, like, nothing. Because I did actually unlock skills at the start, but I don't know where they are. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, guys, calm down. I'm trying to look at my skills. <laughs> Please. You have to unlock them. Wait, can we learn it right now in the middle of a battle? Oh! <laughs> Okay, we spent all my skill points on a kill spell. It's okay, it's okay. Don't panic, everybody. Do not panic. That didn't do a lot of healing, but it's okay. We can we can make this work. I can probably try and kite them a little bit. I don't know, probably not. We just face tank these guys. I think we can kill them. Looked like earlier I was hitting more than one guy at the same time. So if we try and like angle ourselves better in the future. Yeah, we got this, we got this, it's fine. Wait, if my wolves died, have I just lost <laughs> Oh no. Wounded. It's okay. It's like bad order. I think they can die, but luckily for us today, everybody, they're just wounded. It's fine. <laughs> Imagine if I just spent like 700 pounds or 700 um, altar on wolves and they just immediately died in the first five seconds of people fight. <laughs> Done. Cool. That was, uh, that was interesting to say at least. Okay, so talent points. So we got no talent points. We'll look at that later. Uh, inventory. Where did I find this earlier? It's, I found it in the battle somewhere, but... West. It's like West. Interesting. Intel. We looked at that earlier. Party. Where do I find my talent skills? Aha! Okay, so... Where does it say about my skill points? So I clearly had 100 at some point, or I had some kind of skill point, because I got a skill. Ah! Spend skill points. So is that mean I got one skill point? So I guess for the second one is, we want to probably get a combat skill as well. Yeah, I had to, I didn't have a skill point. Okay, so now we got a combat skill. The uh, move quickly and slash three times, doing 223 damage, and the healing one, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if we... That look, we nearly died in that basic encounter, so I'm not sure if doing a quest, if I'm level one, is a good idea. Actually, what level am I? Uh, level... Can anybody... Level two? Oh, I'm nearly level three. Do you know what? I'll give it a shot. If I die, I die. It's simple as that. Uh, you put... Okay. I love the music. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Uh, they have magic shields, everybody. Oh, no. I don't, I don't know how strong they are. So, wait, these guys are by themselves. Okay, that's not looking good for us. Maybe we want some kind of AoE skill as well. Oh, these guys are really tanky at the front here. I think we may be in trouble. Okay, let's try and keep ourselves healing in a... What not? Okay, so some of them, these guys with the double blaze are really easy, but it looks like they die in like two or three hits. This guy is probably going to be, this guy has actually a proper shield on. Okay, so what we do, we kill these guys with our just regular sword. This is where I would love an AoE spell. Because right now I got, uh, also the magic one as well, because we've got no way of replenishing our mana. Okay, so I'm going to try and use the proper skills on these guys. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Hey, we got this, we got this. 
I'm glad I picked heal and stuff. I always could have been uh, in for a very hard game, everybody. <laughs> also, can we just notice my wolves aren't here? Do they need to heal or something? Okay, I can't really heal anymore, so we've got to be very careful now. Okay, we're going to need your skills on these guys. Um, what we do, we use the Q on this guy. Oh, yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> very, I mean, I have a very, very close battle there. Uh, so we got, I leveled up, very nice. XP cause, oh, damage cause, damage taken, okay, and healed, okay, cool. So we got a bunch of stuff there, cool, I'll take that. I mean, experience seems pretty good getting anyway, because it means, uh, oh, wrong one, sorry. I want to go into party, and I want to go into skills again. So we're trying to get this one yet next. So meditation. Is this a passive skill? Oh, it's passive. So we just now regenerate mana, which means we could literally probably kite the enemy forever and just stay in the battle <laughs> well, however long we want. Also, I just noticed, uh, my wolves did die. Oh, we actually suck everybody. We just fought wolves, they just immediately die. <laughs> Damn it. Well, um, great. Anyway, we've got a passive skill, so we'll take that. And I've got one more skill point, so we, we get this as well. So it doesn't matter if my wolves die, because I can just summon Arctic wolves now, so it's not a problem. Uh, I guess we'll put this in, like, one for now, just like a regular skill. Why not? So, I guess I can upgrade these. Yes, increase summon health. This can be upgraded as well, three times per skill level. 100 times level per physical attack, okay. Cool, this is pretty cool so far. Saw play, I got loads, this is my main skill tree, so we've got loads of stuff we can pick and stuff, so it looks pretty cool. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'm very upset about my, yeah, they are dead. There's no wolves anymore, we've lost the wolves. <laughs> so maybe I should have been a little bit more careful with my money there, because it looks like we've had a little bit of trouble. Uh, people are joining factions and stuff, you see at the bottom left there? Yeah, just like people are joining factions. In fact, I recognize these names from the companions I could have picked at the start of the game. So I guess they dynamically join factions and stuff when they go around. This is an upcoming event. Okay, cool. Interesting. Let's go this way. It's actually trying to go... So what I'm kind of concerned with is because I have decided just to play like an idiot and uh, play the game with no allies. <laughs> we may have a lot of trouble with this one, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe if I can try and make friends with one of the factions, we can use them as a base. You hear someone calling out to you. The... Uh, the Weariness in the person's voice sounds familiar. You don't remember me, my savior. It's me, Malak. I literally taught you five minutes ago. You saved me from the Ifrit. You haven't forgotten this troubled scholar. He puts away his old tones and turns to take your hand. Dude, it's... It's been like five... We literally just left, killed some monsters, and he's, he's like, oh, there you are. <laughs> hmm. How can I help, friend? Wait, no, what about the girl? Damn it, she was important. She was in the story, I know. And then I'm in desperate need of your help. The Ifrit have begun forming hunting parties to attack humans. To make matters worse, distinguishing the more powerful Ifrit from those of our own flesh and blood is nigh impossible. Oh, so they look like humans. Interesting. They have their own language, intelligence, and powerful magic. They evolve and adapt quickly too. If this continues, humans will be unable to defeat them. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, it's fine. What do you need me to do? I have located an Ifrit hideout. As to what they're plotting, I do not yet know. Let me go and kill them. I shall wait for you, Sav, a redstone keeper. The oh no, what is this? Pi ho ho. <laughs> That's probably not correct. I'm sorry. Uh, Lava void, my savior. Only you can prevent this disaster because I'm the main character. Uh, that's pretty much what you just said there. Okay, thank you. I got more XP from that. Do I level up again? Oh, talents. Okay, we got talent. We have a talent, everybody. Look at all. Oh, look at all. This is a massive skill tree. Damn. So it's like a reviving combat. Uh, building. Oh, so you want to be. We have to try all this stuff and stuff. I'm kind of excited for it. Favor gain. Favor gain with factions. Movement speed. Squads. And healing. Those seems to be the base. I guess we start from here and go out. So I feel like for now, we probably want to go for a speed of party. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll leadership. I want to get a big army as well. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, oh, passive experience for troops and stuff as well. Very cool. Allow troops to do auto battling. 
Huh, it's probably because I haven't really played enough to know what to do yet. That's the, that's the thing that I'm a bit worried about. I'm not really sure if what we do now is going to be a good idea or not. Though I will say this seems to be XP gain. But only 4%. Is that even worth it? That's what I mean. I don't know. <laughs> normally, I like to normally make decisions when I'm well informed with the situation. But um, in this situation, I just have no idea. I guess we'll just go for a general march speed one. Because if we get enemies that are... Excuse me, game. I don't know what language this is, but we're just going to click that one. I did it! <laughs> More map speed. Okay, cool. A holding cell for a prison. Some prisons have been held... Interesting. Defeat the guards, and the prisoners will join you. We can give it a shot. If we, I don't know what happens if we die, by the way. So if we do die, I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying my best here. Um, oh, I guess I can't because I have no party members. I'm already in the thing by default. Okay, there you go. Why would the guards stop me from breaking into their prison? Wait, wait, wait. Blah! Isn't that just a bad land wolf? Oh, these guys hurt it hard. They, I've made a mistake, everybody. I've made a mistake. <laughs> Wait, I'm level four. I got no skill points, never mind. Okay, so we probably are going to die here, everybody. Uh, mistakes were definitely made. These guys are way better than I am. Hula! Roll. <laughs> oh, that was a bit interesting. Oh dear, everybody. Oh dear. I feel like we've made a grave mistake here. Oh, we're going to die. I don't think there's a way I can do this. Well, I can't really can if we just spend ages micromanaging and stuff, but I really set them kill me. I'm kind of curious to see what happens. I expect we learn now what happens until sort of later on. You're defeated by the guards. They release you as some warning. Oh, <laughs> bad. <laughs> Naughty. Okay, so that was a... That was fine. I guess the downside of doing that would be that you would lose your party members if you sent them in there. Hello there. Oh, no, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> you haven't heard of the famous Desert Brotherhood? Hand over your valuables if you value life. Oh, this is something. Oh, we're a, we're a monster. Compared to these guys, they, they weak. Nice. Cool. So we can get, we can win battle. It seems like there's those guys that were being guards. I guess they were like high level humans. Brotherhood, brotherhood, brotherhood. These are the guys that we just fought, weren't they? As I currently am by myself, and I don't see the matter if I die or not. It's going to attack them. <laughs> huh? Where did this bum come from? Scram! What should I do? Make trouble. I'm doing a jaw, apparently. Ooh. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I got like a bleed effect on me. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! This guy's hitting me for like four or five times damage. I'm hitting him for. <laughs> okay. Well, I think this guy's got us in a bit of a bind here. No, we got. We got this. We got this. I'll just keep dodging him. Can I just keep summoning wolves? I'm trying to dodge, by the way. If you look at the bottom left there, you can see my cooldowns. If I can get another Q, I think we can kill him. Ooh! Nice! I got a talent point. Okay, so because there's three of them here, and one of them nearly killed me by himself, I think we'll leave the camp alone for now. But I have leveled up. That got me a talent point, I think. Uh, what is this? Managed grain, few consumption, swift ride. Press space while mounted to the dash. That could be very useful if we're running away. Uh, has I also got myself some skill points? No. Oh, because I'm still level four. Oh, so talent points and skill points seem to be irrespective of each other. Interesting. Oh, that is fast. I saw something moving there. A beast. It said a beast. There's like 20 of them. Because <laughs> think how quick... Oh, these are, these are nothing. We definitely want to look for some kind of uh, AOE weapon, though, because... Uh, 
I'm not gonna. I think we'll just be fine face tanking, by the way. Yeah. No problem. Level 5. Okay. Um, talents. I think I'm missing one of my skills, actually. I'm, I'm messing this up. Give me a second. <laughs> Uh, that have, I thought it was passive, that was a passive. Okay, so all of these. Gain three seconds of disabled immunity. So if their enemies have immunity, which is scary by itself, you can disable it. Interesting. Uh, profound... Uh, free hit combo. AoE damage. Sword Kamikaze. Real AoE damage. <laughs> Spin dance, passive skill. Oh! Uh, spin and dance of diverse damage. Each sword skill cast that is different from the previous increases crit rates. Interesting. Oh, it keeps it's this way as well. The fire physics to instantly move closer to the target. Erase all negative stats effects. Interesting. Oh, attack all enemies along a path. I tell you, what, this one seems like it might be the most useful. Because so far everyone seems to follow you in a line, so we can do like a large like line attack. I think it'd be pretty handy. There's something up here. Is there a cave? Look at those little eyes in the corner there. Recommend level one. Easy, easy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like that one. Oh yeah, that's great. That's going to be a good weapon for our um, attacks here. We absolutely smash him. Good job, everybody. Okay. Can I do that again? Oh, I can do it in another seven days. It restarts. Cool. At this point, at least we get a lot of experience from doing this. Oh, I needed it in one go. Okay, yeah, these skills are pretty crazy. Um, I feel a lot stronger already. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that must be one of the, um, like, faction lords and equivalent of Banner Lord. So these guys hate me, right? Oh, no, wait. Is this like Banner Lord where it can immediately just end your game? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh no. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, he's just absolutely devastating me. I can't even hurt it while I can, but wait, we got this. We, got this. we can get away with this. It's fine. Uh, friend! If I can get around to these guys down here. Yep, 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 yep. That guy is a big problem. I need to stay away from him. I can't even uh, do a skill when he does that. Good job, Wolfie. Can you heal him? Oh, that skill sucks. I can't do anything when he does that. Okay, we're not going to... Oh, wait, we probably finish him with this, actually. Nice. Ooh. Wait, strength at least... Oh, are there attributes in the game as well? Cool. Um, oh, so I can, it doesn't matter if they hate me or not. I can just sneak inside just by doing a little combat thing. I guess if it's like a large, this is a camp, right? It's gonna be, it's gonna be a terrible. It's basically a village. If it was like a proper city, I guess it would be a lot more guards. So I can recruit troops, get quests, trade items, manage squadrons, which we think we're looking at earlier. Set so rally point. Oh, thank you, game. <laughs> what is a rally point? Uh, oh, so if you die, you restart here, or you flee here. Okay, cool. So we're keep. Yes. Uh, Launch a siege. I can try and take it over. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, trade items. So I got some armor, which is worth quite a lot of money, actually. Map fragment. Oh, I didn't even remember picking that up. What's all this stuff? Limestone flat. I guess that's crafting. It was one seriously in the troop. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I want to kind of see quests. Oh. Well, <laughs> I can't do that. 
Oh, I can hire troops. 125 pounds. We got 900. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can I recruit more than one? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, but we got some friends. We got some friends. Oh, there's different tabs. So that's City Center. There's a skill map. Ooh. Does she sell, like, proper skills? She does. She just flat out sells new skills. That's really cool. Uh, requires 250 pounds and J... Oh, we haven't got that. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a resource? Do you reckon this might be Jade? At the top, I've only got one of them. Uh, I can't do it anyway. I think that's Jade. We'll have a look in a second. Okay, and Tripool. Oh, that must be like a Lord's Hall if you're like a leader of the faction or something. Challenge. Cool. Um, okay, let's go back to the merchant. This armor, what's it? It's way better than mine. Can I equip skills in this place? Wait, no, not that, one, not that one. Wait, what's also? Is this Jade? That is Jade. Okay, now we know. Inventory. Strength. 15. I got 40. So now we get ourselves more HP, more magical attack, but less movement speed. But it also. Okay, so it's more like a tanky bit of armor, but I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Cool. Uh, let's look. I'm going to move away in case we get attacked something while I'm not looking. Uh, party. Militia. This is the regular guy. We're, this is the regular bandit guy we were fighting earlier. So, but as I mentioned before, if I go to promote, you can see there's like a giant skill tree. Look how cool this is. So they get way better as well. So this guy's currently absolutely awful. Oh. It does different damage attacks to different types of uh, people. So this guy's class is light. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Well train. Increase. Ooh. 50 well, that's This guy has a skill just to get rapid XP then. Then he goes into this guy. He becomes medium. And does more damage. Oh, I see. So. Okay. That's really cool. Same skill again. Then he starts splitting out. You can get healers. Yeah, so the troops can actually get the skills you use in combat. So, like, later on, you'll see just troops using random skills all over the place. It's not just heroes. Anybody can use skills in this one. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what we can try and use here. Well, we, we'll see. We'll try and survive this guy first, and we'll try and level up and go from there. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go this way, shall we? Party of four. Uh, recommend level 4. Possible rewards. Oh, cool. Rewards, swords, spike. Oh, there's those are rewards you can get from this. Yeah, we'll try this. Oh, when it said party, I think it means officers, so I, I can't bring my troops with me. Oh, this weapon is mad. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love these skills, everybody. They're doing great for us. Strength elixir. Do you reckon that might be a permanent buff? We'll have a look afterwards. Um, so I think this is how this works, if I recall from when I played ages and ages ago, is you kind of have a choice sometimes. So you might go into like, you go into a, uh, like a dungeon, there's five floors. So you have like five random, no, four random encounters and the last one's like a preset. So I can choose right now to heal myself or get treasure. But in, I think in a dungeon, you don't reset your HP. So it kind of like carries over persistently. But as we take no damage, it, we just go for the chest. Oh. <laughs> oh, great. great. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, there are no enemies here. I can restore 20 health, but reduce attack by 30%. That is not worth that. No. Um, health or mana? I'll go for health. Basically, I just went in there, killed some guys, lost HP, regained HP. Now we're back where we were at the start. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it's one of those things. Hello there. A wizard. He's a wizard, Harry. I wouldn't say that's a wizard, personally. He literally is made out of fuck... He's actually made out of just flames and everything. I mean... Oh, no. I think we... Oh, no. I'm not liking this at the moment, everybody. I feel like we maybe made a mistake. Um... Wait, I've got a magic buffing! 
I can definitely tell I'm a lot slower. Let's call some friends. Let's also heal as well. Wait, wait, wait. Line up, line up. Oh, I messed that up so bad, everybody. We can do this. We can do this. No, you killed Jeff. Luckily, he is a mage. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> I'm waiting for the man to regen, by the way. I reckon we can just kill at this point. Let's go for it. Nice. I'll take that. Regenerative. Wait, what did I say? Regenerative prismatic robe and basic forge tools. Cool. Okay, wait, wait. I'm looking to. Wow. Mana and health regen. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, okay, we, we lose magic attack and a little bit of 5% of magic resistance. We just randomly start regening HP and mana. That's really powerful. Oh, that's awesome. I'll definitely take that. What's this do? A uh, tool used by Smiths of Ember Society restores durability of gear. Durability 31 out of 40. Oh, no. Okay, interesting. Uh, I got a poem. I guess some kind of like thing I can give somebody. What's this do? Temporary buff. Okay, so that's like an in-game item we can use. What's this map I found earlier? How do I use it? This may also... Oh, map fragment 6. Maybe it's you got to put all the maps together to get the whole map. That seems logical to me. Cool, that was uh, that was some cool stuff around there. I want to check myself as well. Have I? No, we're finally fine. Talents, maybe? Talents, too. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go for leadership and get the first level of training. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I thought that was points I had. It's over here, right-hand side. We've got no points. What are these, by the way? Strange Crystal, touch it to receive a talent shard. So is that like... Talent shard. I guess if you get enough of them, it gives you a talent point. Is that the inventory? This maybe? No, wisdom crystal. Oh! A magic crystal or condensed wisdom grants one skill point to any character. Oh, I could have done this ages ago. <laughs> well, damn it, everybody. We could have done this ages ago. So, require... What we do, we upgrade our, we upgrade our damage weapons. So, what was this? You generally hit during Shadow Step grants a shield. That seems worth it to me. Okay, so what we do, um, upgrade once. So now we do more damage. Oh, we cancel. What does it upgrade it to? Oh, per skill level times skill level plus. Okay, so it just basically doubles the damage at the moment. Uh, maybe more than double. Get the shield. And I think we'll also go for. Better summons, maybe? So we have some allies at all times. Let's go for that. This may be a complete disaster, but at least we're trying it, right? Learn by doing, as I always say, everybody. Learn by doing. So how are we doing on the map right now? Okay, so we've kind of gone around the top of the map for this zone. There's more than one zone, as you saw earlier. Bandits. Uh, am I certain I want to attack a camp? I don't know if it's a good idea or not. <laughs> Hopefully it's not ridiculous. I got four. Yeah, so I saw. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Okay, this is we're dead. It's over, everybody. Um. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well. No, I don't. Think, I don't want to return to the battlefield. Can we run away? What is happening right now? Oh, it's a siege. Oh, I'm trying to like take over their base or something. Siege base. Oh no. Well, um, I feel like we've learned some lessons here, everybody. The uh, the da damage different. <laughs> what? what do you expect me to do? Awkward, everybody. A little bit awkward. Um, you think being so powerful they kill this camp a little bit quicker, but... Oh no, don't let me... Don't, I don't want to respawn. Don't... No, no. 
Wait, I've got an idea. Oh my god! <laughs> There's so many of them! <laughs> what? I'm going this way. They're so powerful. Oh my god, everybody! Did you just say you leave with your lives? Oh wait, we have actually. <gasps> They're not dead! I thought they died! Yay! Oh, so it says remains. I think the game's got some um, localization issues with the text. I think the wounded meant dead and remains means they're alive. Because the wolves said they were... They, it said for the wolves they were wounded and they die. But these guys said they re, they're remains, which I guess it could have also meant body remains. And they're fine, so... What's this? Uh, do you know what? This is probably a safer rally point than the other one. Because it's not in like a hostile zone, so... Yes, let's do this. Oh no, I've been ambushed. Yeah, that was it. So I'm kind of terrified now because it didn't even have like a warning how strong those guys were. <laughs> I just died. But these guys were doing pretty well against. Nice. They leveled up. Okay, so I think, like I mentioned at the start, I'm trying to remember how this game works. I, I played like a year ago when it came out. And it wasn't even in English when I last played it. Um, so they do level up, and I guess their stats got... Yes, I remember that being 60-something before. So their stats do go up. And I guess at some point they can upgrade, but I'm not sure what that point is. Maybe they need to get to like a... Uh, wait, it says 4. Do you reckon it means they need to get level 4? Then they can become this new one. We'll see if we... Oh, you can do like orders. Follow, attack, squad number. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. White Rose healing... Okay, we saw that before. You can use it to heal them and stuff. Okay, so we did that one. Oh, I've... my bad, my bad. Chest. Looking at that, I presume that was some kind of temporary buff. Like that strength elixir is. Oh, this is a dead end. Interesting. We probably don't want to spawn it then, because it is a little bit of a... A random thing here. We know for a fact that these guys want to murder me. Is there anything up here? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> it seems something important's happening. I agree. Let's go inside. Danger level 17. Does that mean... I reckon this means... I reckon this means... Level 17. We're not level 17. Bye! <laughs> I'll talk to you later, buddy. Have a good time there, man. Good luck there. I guess that means you can summon a boss or something. Look at the top minimap. What's this mean? Oh, there's like tribesmen running around like villagers and stuff. Cool. We are in theory at war, everybody. We probably just start murdering villagers, but why would we do that, everybody? We, we, what we do, I think we will look at different factions, find a faction we like, and then we make friends with them, and we just kill everybody else. <laughs> okay, uh, what's this? A prison again. I am a lot stronger this time. Do you reckon we can do it? I reckon we can do it. I'm a lot stronger than before. I got better skills. I got hail regen armor and stuff. We can do this. We can do this. We just got to be a little bit careful with it. My wolf's not dead. It's, oh, it's doing a good job. Yeah, we got this. We got this. My health actually is regen. That's I love that. That's really cool. I love the chip damage of this attack I have. Yeah, your prisoners will be mine. We should probably double back to the other one. Oh, my HP. Okay, that's a bit scary. Can I summon a second wolf, do you reckon? Oh, I can just keep... I could be a... I could be a... Oh, no. They just spit. So I was going to say I could be like a Necromancer again, but... We did it. We are, we are definitely getting stronger. Uh, level up to level 6. Very nice. Loot. Yes! Brothers. Oh, what's this on the map up here? Oh, nice. Bandits. These guys are easy. We're, we're, I won't actually help them. We'll let my um, troops kill them. And they can level up. Wait, that's not... You guys shouldn't have it. We're keeping on their HP and we're stepping if we need to. Would it matter if I let them do this, or can I just kill people as well? Do you reckon it shares the XP? 
I'm very powerful compared to these guys. I'm like a god. These guys are level 1, bear in mind. That's why they're not doing a lot of damage. But I think they will get... Well, we saw how powerful they can become. Those regular troops killed me earlier, so... Level up. Okay, so if I'm... My theory is correct, I think. Oh, this brother has reassessed your strength. They, can they can't take on with a group of this size. Oh, cool. So it stops them from attacking me all the time. Party. They didn't level up. No! <laughs> there was another one, wasn't there? Help me level up my troops. Go, men. Go. Level up your armies. We'll let them kill them this time. And we'll see if they get more XP. So last time it was around 131, I think they got. Because this is literally the same size of only banners, isn't it? A bit worried about that guy's HP there. I think if they... They got this, they got this, they got this. Kill him. Become stronger, my men. That's around the same. And I got XP as well. So it looks like we share XP. Ooh. Ooh. Is this an upgrade? Uh, physical attack 65. Mm. But it does more damage against fortified armor. So we saw earlier that there was like a damage differentiation, wasn't there, between different armor types. So maybe this would be a good thing to use in the future if we have like a big... Oh, fortified armor type units. That could also be, I guess, some kind of magic thing. But also, I guess, maybe like buildings. It's a siege spear. It would make sense to me. Anyway, uh, so. Have they done it this time? Have they leveled up? Remote. Yes. Okay, so they need to be level whatever to level up to different tiers. Okay, cool. So, upgrade money. Also, I'm kind of curious. Before we do this, uh, let's go to details. 78 physical attack. Oh, and also, wait. 78 attack. 1.2 HP. 1.6. That is, it's just, it's an upgrade. That's what, 20, 20%-ish? But regardless now, he has different armor types and stuff, so he does, he does better stuff now. Cool. I like it. I like it. Oh, have I leveled up as well? I guess as well, over time, my stats go up as well, passively, as we, go, we do things. Oh, I probably should have checked, actually. Uh, party skills. I can max this out. I think we will. Well, everybody, that has been Sands of Salzar. Is it Salzar? Salzar? It's, it's something like that. <laughs> Sands of Salzar. It's, like I said, it's kind of a cool little game where... Um... I'll pause while it's doing it. So let's just save. Yeah, it's kind of a cool little game where you... It's kind of like Battle of the Way. You start off as a nobody and you can try and make your own army and stuff. I hope people liked playing it. I'll probably play it a few days because I, 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 I've always wanted to play this whenever I had the time. So I thought it'd be great if I could just play it live, because like I said, I bought it ages ago when it came out on Steam in Early Access. It was in, uh, I think, Chinese or Japanese, so I'm not sure what language it was in. Uh, it definitely wasn't a language I could read, that's all I know. And uh, I, I left it till it's finished, and now I'm, I, I actually play it as a full game. So I, I think it's pretty fun so far. I mean, uh, there's a lot of options, it seems, and there's a lot of stuff you can try and get. Shame there's not like an encyclopedia where we can see different types of troops, but like I was saying earlier, like this, this kind of stuff like, really interests me. Like how you can get like these crazy like archer level guys. There's like a T6 super crossbowman. It's kind of like the same vein, but also like it has the fantasy element where like these guys will heal your troops, that kind of stuff. I think it's really interesting. Anyway, apart from that, everyone, um, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.